<laughs> kind of broke. Yeah. We kind of broke. <laughs> Romeo hit you over the head with it. Yeah, no, he dropped it. Which one? The or no, you you he's too. No, I broke no, the accident. And then yeah. the chingaderas, fucking the chingaderas, yeah. the chingaderas, chingaderas. No, he's hiding it too they, fast. Yeah, the, they break so hard. Yeah, yeah. We live and we learn. That's what podcasting is, right? When we got yeah. all this stuff. We didn't. We didn't know what was cool. And what was shit? What remember was we not. started with the little mics that you put on here on your shirt, and then oh, Carlos yelled at us because we were doing it wrong. <laughs> and we thought we were YouTubers now. Yeah, I was like, hey, I'm we're chingona. gonna blow up in a fucking no, month, huh? Yeah, we're chingona, you know, Two years I, later, if I can mic right there with an iPad recording. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the IQ Project. Again, yep. right here with my co-host, Ricky Tat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say something stupid, but I don't know. <laughs> I thought we were still rapping. And Romeo Shades, third chair. Yo. <laughs> AKA third chair. But now he's Yo. official. He's in there. Up, in there with the flair. <laughs> Anyways, this episode uh, for about... This episode was brought to you by... Corona, yeah. We decided to loosen up a little bit today, yo. Hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this episode is brought to you by Iconic Tattoo Studio for all your tattoo needs, tattoo ideas, or tattoo gifts for someone. Uh, check out our Instagram, uh, Iconic underscore Tattoo Studio. You can check out all the artists on the bio. You can directly uh, click their name on the bio and um, message them directly. <laughs> For any price, date availability, and everything. Ooh, <clears throat> like a commercial, dog. Yeah, I'm trying. Yeah, I'm trying. Anyways, so today I think we're gonna do something really interesting. Um, we've been wanting to do it, we just haven't figured out how to do it. So we just said fuck it today. Um, we're gonna be going through Instagram, and we're just gonna see some um tattoos, random tattoos, random tattoos no from tattoos, random people. No tattoo artists in mind. Yeah. Um, and we're just gonna be talking about them. Give us our opinion about it. Um, is it good? Is it not good? But first, let's talk about these new mics we got, though. Oh, yeah. What you think? These new mic stands. The mics are like, still, but I kind of miss the swivel, dog. I kind of miss it. You know? I know. I like it. I feel like nah, it's way better. I like the swivel. I feel like a radio host. Shit. Shit. Oye, ¿qué pasa, Reza? ¿Cómo estamos? ¿Qué pasa? 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 Sound like fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, dog? Um, yeah, these cool, these are cool, man. Yeah, we so we actually we we're thinking about getting new mic stands. Uh, the other ones were just starter ones where we kind of broke. <laughs> we kind of broke. <laughs> kinda. We kind of broke. <laughs> Romeo hit you over the head with it. Yeah, no. he dropped it. Which one? The or no, you you he's too. No, I broke no, the accident. And then yeah. the chingaderas, fucking the chingaderas, yeah. the chingaderas, chingaderas. No, he's hiding it too they, fast. Yeah, the, they break so hard. Yeah, yeah. We live and we learn. That's what podcasting is, right? When we got yeah. all this stuff, we didn't we didn't know what was cool. And what was shit? What Remember was we not. started with the little mics that you put on here on your shirt, and then oh, Carlos yelled at us because we we're doing it wrong. <laughs> and we thought we were YouTubers now. Yeah, I was like, hey, I'm we're going to blow up in a fucking no, month, huh? Yeah, we're gonna, you know, Two years time, later. If I can migrate there with an iPad recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a windbreaker. Anyways. In the heat of the summer? <laughs> yeah. So, bringing, speaking of that, we're, we are still in August. Man, we're about to get that heat. You guys ready for it? We're in it? August, though. That's like half the year. It went August fast, 2022, man. yo. July went super fast. Did it? Yeah. Um, What'd you guys do this weekend? I, I spent the whole, well, Saturday painting on Sunday. Nah, bro, you went, you went truck. Uh, he went fucking Jeep. trucking. Jeep. Trucking. He went trucking <laughs> bro, it's called off-roading. <laughs> off-roading, there you go. Okay, so <laughs> I was painting all Friday morning, and then I, I forgot I had promised some friends I was going to take them off-roading that day. And so at night we took off to go off roading. It looked dope. It was it tight. Some truck almost flipped. That was hilarious. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> Your yeah, truck? No, some other truck. I guess they're coming from up the hill or from the bottom of the hill going up, and uh, they decided to take the off roading trail. Um, so they were they weren't experts or nothing. No, they were just and they decided they accidentally took a shoot, an offshoot, um, from the main trail. And um, <clears throat> is there drinking involved in this off road? Yeah, I don't know. Someone. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, bro, we drank in the snow. Remember? Yeah. These we need to take were, this kid off roading. These dudes were drifting and stuff. Him and his brothers. That's oh, yeah. tight. Jason was drifting this fucking 250. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, yeah. He was doing donuts and then it caught on fire. Oh yeah, caught on fire, bro. <laughs> what the this fuck? Is crazy. I'm just kidding. Whoever's watching this, <laughs> <laughs> and then it's coffee. I forgot who, but someone slipped on the because we we're, we scrambled to get ice and put it on the engine, and someone slipped on the way there. But yeah, yeah. it's just crazy. What? Fucking uh-huh. Alex was drifting my Jeep, and then I started doing it. Yeah, he almost hit a fucking tree. <laughs> no, it was cool. It was a good time. We're, we went to go snowboarding, and then they closed it. Cause uh, there's a blizzard, right? Yeah. So last year we didn't even get to go snowboard. Next year I'll take you. Yeah, this year coming up. That'd be cool. Um, I don't know what you guys do. I saw you went to go eat. I always eat. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday. What do you mean? Can you be more specific? Where did I go? Saturday? House. Oh yeah, it's my brother's birthday. Shout out to my brother Javi. Uh, oh shit. He wanted to go shit, eat. <laughs> Yeah, well, he's text. gonna text you right now. <laughs> Did they sing to him? Huh? Did they sing to him? They do this thing where he, he goes on this like saddle, like. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. So he got on it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he didn't want to, but I told him. Was his birthday actually Saturday? Yeah. Oh okay. Well, yeah, damn, you I fucked got, up, dog. No, I got the perfect image. And so you know, if you tell them, they bring that saddle and you jump on it. And you yeah. Yeehaw, type of thing. We That's went cool. there for my little sister's birthday. Food's bomb. Mm-hmm. Food is bomb. The Follow bread. Ribs. Mm-hmm. You guys gotta have some of that bread. It's it's bomb. Awesome. I want to send you birthday wishes yesterday, but they are thinking today. <laughs> <laughs> no mames. Hey, send it to me because I'll be forgetting people's birthdays, uh, too, bro. What you do, dog? I went to a da di young get. I went daddy yang. That was, that was yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So you're hungover as fuck. No wonder that yeah. modelo went down easily. <laughs> no, but it was lit, bro. Yeah. It was packed. It was cool. It was, he, I think he sold out the arena. Damn. He did. That's yeah. the last tour, no? It's I his just, last tour. Yeah. I, I just send you your uh, birthday message. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Um, you get loaded. You drink some beer. Yeah, we drink a lot. Yeah. Um, it was dope. I nice. was dancing. I got up and danced. Even though it's like super narrow, I was still getting my you know. How, m- how much does he sing for? Like, how long is his? I think it was two almost hours? like two hours, bro. Uh, mm-hmm. Damn, yeah, that's cool. Just hits after hits. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Was that inside? AC? That, yes, it's a Toyota hot. Arena. That shit was hot as fuck, bro. Nasty hot. Yeah. It's like 104, dude. And it's going to get worse. It's going to get worse for longer. Because now it's, we know how before it used to get hot to like September, October, maybe. Mm. Now it lasts to like November, December. <clears throat> Damn. Anyways, let's let's uh move on to uh, our topic for the day. Let's judge some tattoos. <laughs> yeah, let's just judge the hell out of them. Because, you know. Judge. judging ours yeah. compliment so, fuck you guys no nah, i'm just kidding we're we're gonna say our opinions on um you know we're just gonna talk about them we're just gonna talk about them don't get offended why is this one up we gotta start with this one because which one this one here or are you are you married oh no i am you just lost it what the hell is that so screenshot screenshot that yeah. damn all right, so do you guys guys, well, you guys probably see they're, it. They're going to be able to see it because our awesome media specialist is going to put it in this. It's going to be like there. <laughs> if he doesn't forget this time. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> On this camera, right? <laughs> On this camera, right here, right in the middle, right there. Right there. I yeah. think he's flipping me off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's talk about this one. The first one that come out, we're, we're just choosing random stuff. What do you guys think about it this? It looks like it's from Russia. It looks like some freehand lettering. Why do you say it's Russian? Uh, the letters, look at the, cool. the caption. Yeah, I was about to say that's, that's Russian. Russian. <laughs> <laughs> like, all white people are from Russia, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's some kind of like script. It is. Is it? Yeah, yeah. it's a script. Caption, can you wait? Can you swipe more. it? Swipe to swipe to the left. I thought it was just some tribal. Looks like script. No, it's script. In some kind of a Russian. tribalistic way, it's script tribal. We don't do this kind of stuff. Please don't ask us for this stuff. <laughs> yes, thank you. This is considered bl- <clears throat> so. This would be considered black work, um, script work. Fool. What is it? I don't even know the script. We don't know. You know how like sleeps does that thing, like when yeah, it's the like, it's hieroglyphics. It's type. almost like that, but I think, yeah. but in Russian, but it has a style like it's even. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like it's cholo, but in Russian, it's Russian so, cholo. <laughs> it's Russian cholo, bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no, I get sure, it. But bro. look at look at how he. Uh, I mean, there's words obviously in there. But, how do you uh, know it's not in English? And they like the foreign. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like. Have you seen that uh, meme where, um, 
Americans get like Chinese or Japanese symbols. Yes, yeah. yeah, and they do the English <laughs> symbols. The opposite. No, over there in Japan, they get like actual like English symbols because they want it to be foreign. <laughs> What's an English symbol like? Ugly, like the W word. <laughs> <laughs> like mom. Mom? <laughs> I know how I never understood that. That's crazy. Just write mom, dude. <clears throat> All right, let's see. Let's see what else is that, man. Go go through. Go Actually, through. well, I do want to get some compliments because they did design it to go to uh, to go with the body. Symmetrical, symmetrical. Yeah, it's very symmetrical. That shit is hard to do. It must have been freehand. It must have been with the marker first. And that probably took like three hours because when you freehand some letters, uh, just to put it on and make it flow with the chest. I mean, you have to freehand that. You can't stencil it. I can't tell if that's coloring behind it. <laughs> Or is blowouts? I think it's coloring, huh? Like yeah, a different, different color. Part? Yeah. No, it could have been marker. That right there, the gray. The grayish. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, it it could be just like a picture. Sometimes like the. Um, no, because look, I see it in the middle too. Oh. Blowouts is when you, the, an artist goes in too deep, guys, and it spreads out on the. Oh, there's a video. Oh, there's a on video. the derm. Whoa, on the dermis. Or epidermis, or. Whoa, you saw that? He put the ink camp on the on the guy's body. Yeah, you never seen oh, that before? Yeah. No. Like, why not, even waste a turn around? Now Romeo's going to start fucking. <laughs> oh. If it was up to Romeo, he'd put everything on their body. Yeah. <laughs> and just be like. Oh, Hella convenient. All right, let's go some, let's check something. Oh! oh <laughs> Damn! Hey. Sponsor, bro. How convenient. Scr uh, screenshot, bro. Uh, how convenient of this. Yeah, let's judge this. That's a, spon that's this. a sponsored ad, I'm going to drink bro. this before I say something. <laughs> First off, I like to say ah, I love let's this. Let's give this one. Screenshot it. No, fucker, it's on. We're going <laughs> to. Let's see. As you guys saw, I just scrolled. It just came out. Yeah. yeah. Mira, sabes right. que? I don't know. <laughs> 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 let's see his well, first of all let's see his name Joe Shade 12 what do you think it's a 12 for yeah what is the 12 for bro you know what I'm saying like why even put I didn't even, there yeah I didn't even re realize that so no like, is what's it, the 12 for is it 12 girls that you were gonna marry or something <laughs> or what did it happen or what someone always told me I was gonna have 12 kids in one day Inga, so <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay so Joe Shade 12 let's see it's a definitely a religious piece it's a good attempt it's a Jesus statue right it's a yeah. very popular Jesus statue with the sacred heart. The sacred heart with the crystal. That's what I like about the piece. Disclaimer, it's him, Joe Shade here. He it, purposely put this on so we can talk out. about it. Yeah, by the way, we're on the feed, right? You're on or the yeah, explore page. Yeah, we're just on the explore page. Yeah. We're, we're, it just came out. Um, on the yeah, iconic. I came on the explore page. We're on the iconic <laughs> tattoo studio page. Yeah. So let's see. Um, so this is obviously looks like it's two passes, right? Yeah, I... Honestly, when I did it and I took the picture after, I, I didn't really go over the neck. I wish I would have cleaned it up. Yeah, because it looks it looks way different than the other colors. And yeah. I could tell because it has like a grayish tone. Yeah. Where a fresh a fresh tattoo, guys, it's oh. has redness and dark, rich reds. Um, it's well, done. It's basically his face. His face is off this session. Yeah, that's that's the newest part. Yeah. But you went over it, though. No. Yeah, you did. I, I stamped the, the face sacred heart. Oh, on the sacred heart, yeah. Yeah, you went over the whole piece after. Just, yeah, some parts. little details. Yeah, the and roses popping. Let's see. Let's see the video. What? Can't fake the video, dog. How many hours is this, bro? Um, eight hours the first time, and then six, seven hours. But the you ain't time. rubbing the tattoo, bro. I want to mm. see. I think it's fake. Oh, with the zoom in too. What the zoom in, in boy? Zoom in, dog. Let's check that out. Damn. Do you see the little uh stone things on the? On the sacred heart. Watch out. <laughs> like, okay, that's enough plug. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it looks pretty good, man. Yeah. Good. I can't believe it. it you actually put it up there. Oh, I know what this is. It's a Vetetti. That, is that how you Vete pronounce this? Vetetti. 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 Screenshot it. Huh? This is freehand too, right? Yeah, he, he freehands his stuff. Owls. Yeah. He's very famous for his owls. Yeah. He's dope. Um, dude. It's a little hard to see this one, in my opinion. Um, Just on the shoulder, on the right? Yeah, it's on the shoulder. So it's always hard to take a picture when you do like a, a shoulder area and the bicep and then it trans and it goes like over the to the chest. It's kind of hard to see. So it's hard to see in a picture, but in real in real life, it looks badass because you're you're uh, going through multiple planes of the body. You know what I mean? So yeah. if someone sees this from the back, 
you, they get a story from it. You know what I mean? Even if they see it from the side or the front, it's yeah. different. There's one of those artists that, you know, everybody achieves to do their own style. But I, don't, I wonder if he gets tired of doing owls. Because he's... Uh-huh. Does a, does a lot of them. I got tired of doing San Judas. <laughs> <laughs> you can only do so no much. No more of the San Judas, please. San Judas, St. Jude's, please. No more. You can only do so much with the San Judas. With, uh, with, the, with the tattoo like this, because it's your own design, you can't really critique it, huh? Because it's his own shit. Like, I mean, no you can critique it. Everybody it. can be c- c- critique. Because it's his own style. Yeah. So it's like he did what he wanted to do. Well, I mean, personally, I could see what he wanted. He... um what to pop out first, like the claw right here on the bottom. You can see that's where he put his solid blacks. Yeah, but we can, we can, you know, we can just talk about his uh, composition wise. I mean, like I said, it's so subjective, right? To, to him, he might say our compositions are wrong as well, but I mean, just looking at it right now, like I said, I don't know the context about how the guy wanted it maybe, but uh, the feather just looks a little bit. I like it. Overpowering, you know? He usually kills those owls, but I like it. You know, on this one, it's questionable. What do you but, think, Romeo? I just dig it because freehand. Now you know I love. Yeah, freehand. It's I especially love just original art. I wonder if he has a video of it. <clears throat> he usually puts a video up. There it is, right on top, middle. No, but that's the one we're looking at. No, he doesn't have it. Yeah, most of his work is freehanded. It's pretty badass. Um, Portrait. I don't. I don't know too much of his work, but that's good. Huh? David Vega. Zoom in a little. So the glare of the lights, I can't really see. You see yeah. all the little hash marks. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, um, why does it do that? Because that's how tattoos work. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of hatching. <laughs> Hello, you been working with us? <laughs> Come on. What do you think? It's all beautifully. <laughs> no, but I mean, there's sometimes the other artists like. Blended smoothly, no, but there's like hash marks in it. I mean, it looks smooth, don't get me wrong. But what I'm trying to say is zoom in because we marks. can't really see to I can't see from over here. Yeah, it's a good tattoo, man. This is a portrait. I feel like it needs more saturation. Like, I feel like once this heals up, it's, when it heals, gonna look really light, but that's yeah. probably what he wanted to do. Shoot. Maybe on that reference, it's a girl, it's a high, ex, highly exposed. <laughs> yes, it's a girl, bro. <laughs> it's a mom. No, I'm saying the artist, bro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I was like, bro, um, the writing is dope. Let's see, zoom in as I'm out. Yeah, that's pretty clean. It's a good tattoo. I got nothing. Personally, I wish it would have just been more, uh, like, toned it down a little bit darker, just so it could, it could stand out. On the more. skin, you're saying? Yeah, just like on the neck. Mm-hmm. Have. Probably go a little bit toned, a little darker, but I mean, it's it's really good. It's well done. What's the next slide? I don't remember. Is it the close up? The hashtags, bro. Or the hashtag, yeah. the hash marks. You see it though? Yeah. It's oh, the machine it's running through it. Yeah. Because I mean, I've seen you guys do portraits and it doesn't look like that. It doesn't have that many hash marks. She's running her machine either really fast or Let's really Let's see, check slow. out her work. See how she does it. It's really good. When, when, not, what is her name? When, oh. Uptown. Oh, okay. So Winona she, Taylor tattoos. Oh, Uptown's nearby. Is it? I don't yeah. Know. No, it's in Whittier. It's um one of um, who's that dude from Under the Gun? Chente. Chente's shop. Mm-hmm. It's their shop. Let's see. Click on some other work. Zoom in. You can see the yeah, hash marks. Good, good artist. Yeah. Definitely nails the the porches, man. It's, it looks like that's her strong. Oh, that's the reference right there. On the thigh. Respect. Yeah, mm. I rate this a nine. What? That portrait. Her work or that that portrait right there? It's fine. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's a good ass tattoo. Why don't I you get down? Why not? I was like, why no? <laughs> That's her name. Why no? <laughs> why no? Taylor tattoos. I mean, what do you say? We know now. She killed that. Yeah, she, she or as Tony was say, she shot that. It's so smooth. So smooth. <laughs> yeah. Let's right. see what else. Refresh it. Let's see. What... These refresh. pants, dog. Refresh the. Just go on the on the refresh. There you go, like that, and refresh, see what comes up. <laughs> Want to buy a house? <laughs> <laughs> 
Again, oh, this I is the, roses. the shop uh, Instagram. Those roses are pretty dope. What do you guys think? It looks like a Johnny Tap. Screenshot it. It's La Romino Hua Tattoo. Oh, shit. Oh, get la. If you want to get his WhatsApp, there you go. He's getting him some. That's pretty smart. clean. It's going to definitely heal. Guys, this is going to definitely heal really light on the on the roses part, not on the not on the back. He blacked that out, but the roses are going to be healed really light because all that light red right there is just basically your lightest tones. And it's going to it's gonna definitely heal like a lighter tone. So I think that's what he did. He tried to make those roses on a lighter scale. Windbreaks are dope. Look, he added some around the clock towards the left. Yeah. I've been hyped on windbreaks, so. I like how he put like the, the leaves in the bottom, kind of like giving it some style. Pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Next. Are those leaves on top? Or yeah, finished? I've never seen that. Those type of leaves. That's kind of cool, though. Uh, but I think he man? did that maybe because of the. I can't see. You're seeing it super close, bro. The Roman numerals. Right here. I can't zoom in on real. No? No. Fucking Instagram. Oh, tacos? Damn. Oh, yeah. So. <clears throat> Neck tattoos? Uh, so. Doug Inc. Shout out to Doug Inc. for doing a net tat. I, I will not do them. That's, that's. It's hard. Would you guys do neck tats? I've done them. I've Would done. you do another one? I've done one. Depends what it is. Um, This one. <clears throat> Screenshot this so we can. It's cool. Um, definitely he did some wind breaks. The wind breaks are cool right around the the ears. It gives it that break. Um, could have probably used a little bit more saturation in the in the angel on the on the skin area. What do you guys think? But overall, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Who's this, Josh? So this is Duran Tattoos. It's from Europe. Screenshot that so we can. <clears throat> so we're gonna talk about all oh, right there. That one's good, no? I know he's pretty good. He's a uh, he does a lot of Dragon Ball Z tattoos. With, that's what he's really known for. Mm-hmm. Um, whenever I'm gonna do one, I usually go to his page to see exactly like um. Kind of, kind of, see yeah. how he does it, because what I like about his style, he incorporates more like a realistic shadowing to a cartoon. You know, <clears throat> get inspiration from it. What do you think? Uh, he 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 has the tones right. You know, the, that anime is so simple that. Um, it's such a simple work that if you don't have the right tones, you're gonna just make it look muddy. So I, obviously he knows how to do that. He's a very good skilled tattooer. He understands composition really good. You can see, you can see that the um, you know, he wants to capture that this, the hand right there in the forefront, and then his face, and then he's got that badass glow in the back. I wonder if he um goes back and like watches. All the Dragon Ball Z's and like screenshots, things like that. Because mm-hmm. when I had to do um, Kevin's, that's what I had to do was go back into like see the actual uh, show and screenshot part of it. <clears throat> but it does a lot of fucking animes or cartoons. But I think that's not all he does. Like his actual work too. Check that out. Oh shit. High contrast. <clears throat> That's very high contrast. Yeah, but look at these tones, like yeah. textures. So look at the top of the. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit on the uh, opposite side. Look at the top of that. That the sphinx. The eagle, whatever the thing is. Uh, yeah, sphinx. On the left. It's just plain. There's not mm-hmm. a lot of texture right there. So it's, it's the purpose of that is to be achieving a high contrast look. Mm-hmm. But if you're gonna, if if you're gonna go detail, you gotta add some stuff in there. Let's see. Choose one. Choose one, Josh, that you want to talk about. Let's scroll. Let's scroll. Let's scroll. This explore page is a trip, huh? Like mm-hmm. it just shows you so much information at once. 
10 years ago, man, we have to wait till a magazine comes out. <laughs> now it's just instant, instant dopamine to your brain. Oh, let me see the chest. I'm choosing, dog. Oh, perdón. I choose butterflies. Five bucks says he chooses butterflies. I, I, already, I already know what that one is. Oh, damn. <laughs> it shows you a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that was an awesome tattoo butterfly. machine. Butterfly. Butterfly, yes. <clears throat> put tattoos, put damn. realistic tattoos. And what with the color piece? That one's on. unfinished, though. So what? Okay. Cool. Why are you Talk judging? Let's talk about it. All right, so this is on the, this is, who's the artist? Smil, Smiling Tiger? Smiling Tiger. Smiling Tiger, <laughs> Smiling tiger Smiling. right? Smiling. Click on the in progress, see what it says. In progress, adding in the pair of cardinal. Next time. Next time. Hashtag Decas. That's pretty good, man. Yeah, color's dope. Like I think the blend style. from yellows to orange is fucking amazing. And he uses those light, uh, those light colors in the back by the leaves. Man, to do those leaves, you, he has to have some kind of painter skills because to achieve those tones, uh, it's not like just the bright leaves that we usually see. Usually, you can see there's some like blues and and greens. That's pretty hard, man. Respect. You know, uh, I want to see know leaves are green, right? But it's like a different. It's like a <laughs> not different, necessarily no. It's like a different type of green. It's like a yeah. It's like a tertiary color green. Turquoise. Is it? Gazuntai. <laughs> I I mean I wonder what the, what color do you think he's gonna put the oh, the, the birds? They're gonna have to be uh the like background's a, blue, so it has to be one more of a warmer tone, like a red. Yeah, red probably is, like reddish. Oh, the, they're um cardinal card. What do you call them? Cardinals. Yeah. Oh, so Cardinals right. are red. Yeah, okay, I'm right. See? Damn, what's up? Let me see. Screenshot that already? Yeah. Go to realist type in realistic tattoos since we have more. That's what we do at the shops. Let's check out some of those. Realistic. What's that uh page? Tattoo realistic. That one has a lot of badass. All right, Ricky, you get to choose now. Mm, scroll slowly. Oh, let's let's see that Odin with the eye. Quebec. It's pretty cool. I like how you added a little bit of color, a little pop from Canada. <clears throat> I think Quebec you nailed it. Camera, right? <laughs> Quebec, Montreal. Pretty cool. The little shots of color is always fun to do. He nailed that composition wise. Like it's nice and big. The color in the ocean is dope. Like yeah. Turquoise. I don't know. I feel like the face is a little deformed. Yeah. Yeah. The eye. It's it's the eye that makes it look a little bit off, right? Yeah. It gives it off. What do you think, Romeo? Would you ever want to do color in black and gray or just yeah, but dope. mixing? We try to do some skin breaks in there with the, the storm. I think over time, though, um, those waves in the ocean can disappear. They're going to disappear. So we're just going to see uh, just a little bit of black in that boat because, yeah, it's mostly of his skin color. So. I think you gotta cool remember. Right now. You gotta remember um, why I don't like mixing color in black and gray is because, as over uh, as time goes, um, the way it's healing, and the way it's like fading out because all tattoos fade, color is gonna actually fade out. Black and gray is just gonna smooth it out. You know what I mean? So you're gonna lose a lot of that color if it's not really saturated or punched contrasted. In. You know what I mean? And contrasted is probably the best way to do it because. At least it'll fade out altogether. We can still be able to tell. Click on his page. Let's see what kind of style he does. If he just is just one of those things. Followed by Tony. Tony oh. follows him? Tony what? 
click on uh, that lion or tiger. Why always mix them up? I don't know, bro. I can't see, dude. It's light. Oh, that's textures right there, bro. Okay. <laughs> that's a sick piece. I don't know. <laughs> it, bro. With this guy giving me the uh, always the opposite. What, what don't you like about it? Let's talk about it. it looks too flat. Flat. <laughs> Take off your glasses, fool, because that is not flat. That he it nailed it. Flat. Nah. Where's it look flat? It at? looks all wimp toned as well. I, I think I think he nailed the tones. He yeah. has texture. I'm just trying do you think to Romeo? <laughs> what do you think, Romeo? So what you think? Peace has peace, bro. How would you feel if you just finished a piece like that, bro? That's a lot of hours. Oh, I know. That's like three months for him. <laughs> <laughs> a year, bro. It's like three months for Romeo right there. Screenshot that so we can, because we're talking about it. No, I like how it fits the whole arm, honestly. No, yeah, he nailed it. Big ass piece. Definitely a unique piece. He put it together very well. All right, guys, let's continue with checking out some more work, man. Uh, I'm going to handle the iPad this time because Compo over here was picking some that he didn't like. I'm going to pick some that I like. Uh, first one we've seen, let's see, this is from an artist named Devon Foxworthy from Sacramento. Worth We're at Peaks and Valley brand. Foxworth. Foxworthy? <laughs> Foxworth. I don't know what I said. All right. This is a cool one, guys, because we could actually uh, talk about this whole tattoo in general, like, you could see fresh work and you can see healed work right next to it. Mm -hmm. And for those of you that don't know about how tattooing works, you can see, especially in the in the cheeks right there by the statue by the Zeus, there's some like lights, they almost look reddish tone kinda. That's our that's the light tones that we use. And you can see on the fresh area, that's how they would heal, especially around the lion face and the the nipple area and then the horse oh, no yeah on the arm so the arm is basically healed work and then the chest is all fresh yeah yeah but what i'm saying is on the horse over there you could see he used some of that light right so you could see kind of how actual tattoo everybody asks me man can i leave my tattoo this red you know mm -hmm. with the blood but obviously it's not gonna it's not gonna stay like that from the first two days this it's just a tattoo is just irritation yeah so it's gonna heal really light like this so this is a good tattoo i mean they're known for composition over there they put a lot of um different styles together um do they consider themselves realist realism tattoos realism tattoo artists i think they do they do but i think it's more uh, their composition's amazing at that shop like they kind of all tattoo the same um I would say they're more like half realism, half graphic. You know I mean, because most of their work, you 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 have more of a softer tone to everything. Yeah, I think that's for composition. For the reason why they do that is for a compositional style, because yeah. or else they will just do like a realistic photograph copy. So just the fact that they add these, they're a lot of on a lot of their tattoos they do these leafing and um they kind of add the same transitions on everything huh yeah but that's what the, i think that's what the clients like you know the clients yeah. that are coming to them i like what they did here i wonder if they have a book and they're just like okay this is the transitions we have no, <laughs> i mean <laughs> yeah so let's see let's pick something else i screenshot that one right i think i did yeah Let's see, guys. Let's see. Oh, this one right here. The famous tiger. What do you guys think? That one's really well done. It's really well done. The and lighting, the background shadowing to it. And just that little, the little hint of, um, of a skin break up top over here. Oh, I can't zoom into it, damn it. 
but on top of his uh, body up there, you see how it leaves a little skin break area, like a light tone mm-hmm. on the right side of his arm. That shows that he understands like lighting and you need some little background shading to make this feel like it has death. He nailed the tiger stripes. That thing looks dope. It's always hard to put in the in the in the nose area right here. It's always hard to put like texture there. Um, how do you do? Did you just hit it with the liner? I hit it with the liner, stippling, stippling in it personally. But I've seen other people just actually um, go in with the magnums. Yeah, I've been doing both. I'll start with the pepper shading just mm-hmm. to give it some textures. That's weird because I do it at the end, and then I do <laughs> and then I do the shading under it. To give it wherever I need more darkness. Um, if I had more time, I'd actually draw every little, every little whoosh, dot. Whoosh, whoosh, like, but it's not a dot though. It's like a little, like a little swipe, yeah. just to create like fur texturing. I noticed that's what Jose CD does. So I mean, but you know, he he focuses on that face, you know. But pretty dope. Ro, what is his name? Romario. Romahu, Romario Malu. Good job on this tat, yo. All right. <laughs> oh, what those chrome cherries right there? Where, right They're there? Hard. Oh, oh that, yeah. yeah. Let's talk about those. Damn, that's dope. Is that Photoshop? No. What do you guys think? That's like with the three almost. That's like all stipple work. No, it's not. No. No. Yeah, it looks dope though. That looks dope. Yeah, whoever did this understands chrome. Or just have a good reference. That or you had a good reference. <laughs> <laughs> is that opaques? Hmm? Is that opaques? No, it's black and gray. He's into minimum. He or she is into minimal. Yuan Tan. Into realism. Oh, I've heard of. I think I've heard. I think they're in LA. Or she's in LA. Um. Yeah, dude. Damn. This is dope. This is unique. Mm-hmm. Even though it's like small. It's How do you different. think it's going to heal up though? Nice. Um, think so? Yeah, really nice. The, the lines are in there. There's enough black. And the bottom will fade. It'll heal just like this top one. Look. Yeah, but the top one's more lined out. Top one. Look at the leg has that light in it. Like the yeah, that's the how it's gonna heal. Where the leg is. You see how it softened up? That's how the bottom's gonna soften up. Oh. That's cool. It gives it a soft. They don't always have to have like that hard line. That's really um, it's really in right now. Like all these small tattoos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, bro. You did a couple of these, huh? You did that angel, and you kind of left that softness too, huh? And it healed cool, huh? Yeah. It's pretty cool. Good job on this one, guys. Bring you on tan or whatever. Romeo would choose. I did. For the chrome. Oh. That was a chrome one. Let's see. Let's see. There's a lot of them. Oh, look. There's one side by side, fresh and healed. But it's a small tattoo. Yeah, you can't really see that one too much. Ooh, Michael Jackson. All right. What do you guys think about this one? There's a lot going on. It's dope, There's a though. lot going on. It's kind of edited, though. Yeah, it does. It's definitely edited. It's definitely run through some kind of a filter. Um, It's dope, though. Even it's super dark, though. Besides the editing, though, like all it's almost like wind breaks or, you know, you have to be cautious of like, the stencil because there's so much going on. I like the idea of it. I just wish I would see more of the original image. So it's like a clock and a cross and a line and a face all together in one, right? Is it a clock? It's like yeah. two faces almost. There's a clock in the cross. back. For cross. some reason, I thought it was one of those um, windmills. Oh, no, it's a clock. I look you like the see stairs the... that we went up when we went to Philly. You know, the, the, <laughs> oh, the circle ones? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, I don't, I don't know. I don't know about this hair. Yeah, it's stylistic. You know, I thought it was flames, but <laughs> you really <laughs> thought they were flames? Yeah, I'm serious. I thought it was flames. I was like, the face came out dope. He hit the whites just in those perfect spots. That looks cool. It's a little subtle, but that could have. I wonder if that could have been Photoshop. You know, because uh, it's like go back to the nose. You see how they're too white compared to everything else, though. Yeah. And then he definitely desaturated his tattoo a little bit. Uh, took out all the redness. I'd like to see his redness. Let's see. Let's go on to since we're on his page. Taddy Crypt out of Siberia. Where's Siberia? Russia? Russia. 
I think. I don't know, bro. Let's see here. Go to his tag work. This is tattooed on fake skin? You should draw it. I'm going to screenshot it. Well, no, we're not really judging it right now. We're just yeah. we're not talking about we're it. We're just out. looking at it. I'm trying to see his other work. You didn't screenshot the uh, what we were talking about, though. Yeah, we did. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I did. Yeah, that's cool. Nesu Tapur. Nesu Tapur. All right. Shh. Take it easy. Being too loud, Carlos. Este way. Let's see this guy. Should go to Richie. Let's see this one. Screenshot this guy. Oh, this guy's okay. He drinks a couple good beers. <laughs> Shout out to Alan Padilla here. This is a badass piece. What do you guys think about this? Any thoughts? Just that texture of stone, man. It's crazy, huh? All right, guys. If you guys are watching this uh, little video here, um, this is many, many sessions, I'm, I'm assuming. How many sessions do you think he did on this one? We're trying to guess, Alan. Uh, we'll say like three or four. Yeah. Like three or four just to get those tones in. And just get those depths and the cracks and I mean look at just in that. Are those solid blacks under the shadow? Um above the the head. Yeah. Right there, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's solid black, dude. He probably packed it in a couple times based on a little bit on how we seen him work. And all those tones right there, those heel tones right there. Just a bunch of layering. It's pretty dope. Yeah, Can't stop hard. seeing this. I <laughs> know we're just both. What is that negative? Is it like water? Where that negative oh, line, line going down? Negative line. Is it water dripping? I don't know, know what that is. What is that, Alan? Let us know, dog. It's coming from the top as well, though. I think. Yeah. Yeah, the composition is dope. There might be water. He takes all these pictures himself too. For the most part. Nalgas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't see anything. You saw something? I don't know. Like, like explore page, uh -huh. bro. I'd be fooling. <laughs> I just see a bunch of tattoos, bro. <laughs> oh, you know, we talked about this one. It came out again. This one's dope, dude. This one's clean. It's okay. The... the <laughs> <laughs> this guy, it almost looks like opaques, but it is opaques. Oh, it is. Yeah, he, oh. that guy, the artist uses opaques. Quinn, Quinn Hernandez, out of Texas. This guy's tight. No, what are you, what are you guys looking at? That one. This is not opaques. It yeah. looks like it. Uses, Where's the opaques? He uses huh? opaques on the suit, or he, on the rocks almost. Yeah. It's like a light uh, this gray. Is just super what saturated? Super Check saturated. out. No, this is not Quinn Hernandez. Man. Yes, it is. Yeah. Check. Go to Quinn Hernandez's page. Or tap the photo. They probably tagged him. Tattoo Bert fool. It's not him. Mm mm. It's Quinn. Have you guys seen this page or something? We know Quinn. Bad cool. bone. Yeah, cool homie. Yeah, we're cool like that, you know. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> I just went to the birthday party. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. He just posted this up. Yeah. Yeah. But he does opaques. Yeah, I don't think this is opaque. Uh, they're like light gray. Quinn, let us know, dog. You think it's edited? The guy's darker skin. That's why he left a lot of skin breaks, no? Check his other work, though. He's the one that did it with uh, Jose, Jose CD. Yeah. Yeah, he did opaques on that one. Let's talk about this one, dude. Let's this one's hard. This one's amazing. First of all, what stands out? 
That face. Mm-hmm. Clean, huh? And then that's a lot of skin breaks that, right there. That Josh H swirl on top too. Josh H, don't worry about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the opaques makes that stand out even more, huh? Yeah. I wonder how it looks healed. Yeah. How do opaques look healed? I don't think just I've like black just, gray. They heal just like you see them fresh. Mm. No, they they heal look like black and gray. Just made a little bit more uh, with white in it. Especially if the artist, if the client is light, it'll heal really nice. But just this, this is such an amazing tattoo because the skin breaks that it created, it's always keeping you inside the picture. It's like a frame. No, it keep to me. It keeps me looking down because like it starts from the top right by her hair, and then it goes through her forehead, then it comes back down into this nature scene. And then it picks up and it, it just has you traveling all the time and making you see everything. And I think see, that's a key to windbreaks. Up. The first windbreak I see is the one that's on the right side. And it goes to your nose. That nose from the dark, uh, all that dark, all that black. Then you follow to your eye and the eye leads you to the hair and then it leads you up to the top windbreaks. Yeah, I mean, that's the point. Thank you, Carlos. I think a good skin break... Um, Helps you keep looking at the whole picture, right? You don't just throw them in randomly. They they have purpose, I think. A, a really well technique will do that, I think. And this is a good a good picture of it. You see it in a different way, but it's still the same idea. Skin breaks helps create movement, and that's how we do a lot of this here. Dang, I was just throwing them in there to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Stink lines. <laughs> Uh, yeah. well, my friend, you were doing it wrong. No, they have Plus, purpose, bro. You also, they have besides purpose. having purpose with their design, you also use them to have purpose with the body, the anatomy of it. Mm -hmm. You want to follow the muscle structures of the body to make them look like they belong there. Yeah. Let's see another. Let's stay on this guy for a little bit. Let's see this one. Let me show it. Wow. This is definitely not a Pinterest picture, you know, just the idea. Like, who'd have thought to put the scales in the neck? Mm -hmm. And then you can zoom in on a real fool. It's not real. That's a video. Oh, duh. Zoom oh, yeah, in. you're right. Oh, only he even added the. The scaly texture on the highlights. You notice that? That's dope. You guys see that? Nope. You guys wouldn't. You guys wouldn't think that it's high contrast on the scale. Oh, it's definitely high contrast. Yeah, it uh, is high contrast. It's more but, a graphic look but, too. But high contrast is not bad if it's done. Look at the top. If it's head. done with detail, dude. Yeah, that's definitely done like the. In a couple sessions. That's cool. But. You have to do this kind of darkness to achieve those lights, you know. But let's look at this picture. Where in this picture does it look like it got stickered? You know what I'm saying? Like puzzled. Nowhere. The tree on top. Where? Is that a tree on the left or on the right? That's a, that's a tree. That? Yeah, that's a tree. But that doesn't look like it got puzzled. It looks like it's. Like it has a transition into the, into the smoke. That smoke's um, badass though. It's just all done right. Like it's heavy on one side by the face, but on the bottom, the dragon is heavy on the right side. So I think he had to balance. put that tree there because to balance it out. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. We'll have to put that one in there. I mean, we could talk about this guy all day, huh? Let's go look at some more. Explorers, what will you show us? Huh. Dang. I've seen this one before. I wonder who it's from. Who is that? It's a Carlos Torres. It's a Carlos Torres piece. Let's screenshot this. Yeah, dude, I think it's bad. 
This is a badass piece. With him, if you notice, he puts his um Sorry. his lights right next to his solid blacks, and that's what really makes it pop out. Like I seen I seen some parts of his uh tattoos healed. It looks like the skin is a lot whiter than the rest of the body. Oh yeah. So it makes it look like he put whites in there, but he when I took a seminar with Tony and him, um, he talked about how he doesn't like really using white. He used whites there. In the, in the in the lightning, right? Yeah. That looks dope. But yeah, if you really see like maybe like forty percent oh, maybe like fifty percent of it is tattooed and the rest is empty. But it makes it look like that was purposely done there. It's dope. It's really dope. Compositions there. That's look realistic. That. What I sure. look at is like the how they use negative parts, right? Like the look at the hand with the what is it like a webbing type strings? Strings. Like that looks dope, man. And then look at the texture on the. I'm not getting hyped up. Just, just like want to draw right now. Just <laughs> seeing this shit, dude. Bro, you're about to go home and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks dope. Up. And you can just stare at it for hours because you know if you appreciate the art. Because even on the, on the, uh, what is this called? The, the chingadera. The chingadera <laughs> with, the, with the balls. What are they called? <laughs> Jackster, the Jackster hat. <laughs> right? Like, look, you could just see the textures in that thing. Yeah, we can stay on. This is a really great artist, guys. Carlos Torres Art. Carlos. I put my name down on his list to get my back piece done. I have it for uh, 2027. Damn. Really? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. no. I wish, man. A couple more. Let's see. A couple more. I'm debating still. I want to spend 20 grand on a fucking back piece. Ooh. Damn. That's tight. Tony Tony G be following everybody, yo. He's on. He's on. He's always studying, bro. Tony, that guy's always studying art. Tattoos. Holy Tomo. It's good. He wants to grow. All right. What do you guys think about this? Is the composition there? Yeah. Yeah. And I think we, we know when the composition is there, meaning the way it's laid out, guys, because right away it attracts your eye. Before you even start seeing all the details in this tattoo, um, just from even selecting it in the Explorer page, right away it captures your eye because... The composition is there. There's enough darkness and a lot of lightness in this tattoo where it just captures your eye. I could tell those stars were fucking annoying to do. Fuck yeah, dude. On the top right. And that's a lot of white in there too. No, on the top right. Like leaving those gaps for those stars. Yeah. Yeah. It's very tedious work right here. That's why I'm looking at them like damn. And then to capture the textures of of the astronaut and then even shadowing. So not only is there text noise, but they're shadowing from other, from, you know, from the lighting. Mm -hmm. He nailed it. He could have easily went too dark on that and it wouldn't have stand out. He probably had one full session of just whites. Yeah. The astronaut kind of looks healed already. Yeah. It has the great tones. Look at the meteor. How you just captured it. Yeah, it's definitely like two sessions or three, maybe. Let's see what he says. That's what people don't understand. Like, this type of work takes time. People think that it could be done in one session. Oh, damn. Holy Tomo. Man, they're, hey, they're coming up strong over there in fucking Korea, China, China mm -hmm. Japan. Right? Yeah. They're putting, they're putting, they're putting a run for the money. Look at those details there. Victoria, man. She's killing it. Oh, yeah. Let's put up Victoria right now. That one color piece she did? A little small one? On the chest? Yeah. 
I think the lion one is that one you're talking about, right? No, it's a, it a a portrait of a young girl. Oh, the karate one. Future ex wife right there. <laughs> I like that one. All right. Which one do you guys want to talk about? Go up or down? Damn. Let's do all her work. Yeah, all her work is amazing. We just stay here and talk about her. She's. What do you like about this? What do you guys. Bro, look at all what that. What stands out? And just Super small detail, dude. And for it being so small, yeah. She has patience for sure. But it's such a small area, you know, you have enough time to put all these textures, you know? Even though it's a small area, she's still, like, that piece on, uh, right down the formula she's working on, that's still two sessions. This one here? Yeah. Yeah, because I noticed it, excuse me. See? In she the, put it on the top. In the arm, yeah, in the right arm right there, you can see the tones of the highlights of the statue. Well, you can see right now, like, she's putting it on the top. Oh, yeah, the second half, basically. Yeah. In the beginning of the video. Right there. Right there. Yeah. So mm, I see what you're saying, yeah. So, probably, so she works small, but she she puts so much detail in those small areas. Yeah. Like, but she puts her blacks where they go. She puts her lights where they go, and it just makes it pop. Yeah, she's beast, man. And then she puts the whites in there, makes it shine. I wonder how this one healed. The background's going to heal really light, guys, because it's really red. It's stippling. No, this one here is they look like you magged it. Go to Probably a combination of both. Huh? Damn, dog. What you guys want to talk about? There's so many good ones. Well, dude. look at that color portrait of the soccer one. The soccer guy. No, no, go down. The, that one. We're noticing me and Tony that she had... A horrible reference and that's how you could tell her like the difference between her art like she's a real painter as opposed to a fake painter yeah <laughs> <laughs> she's an experienced painter way I, i'm not too crazy about the background but he, she nailed the, the shirt dude that shirt is fucking badass well she don't want to put too much emphasis on the background no i understand but it just doesn't 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 go. You know how fucking annoying that yellow must be? Pretty annoying. Oh, yeah. You deserve a fucking yellow flower, no? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, because Those greens yellows. in the skin, too. Yo, and yeah, because if, if that's true. Because if you... You got to be careful because if you play, lay the yellows first and then you go in with the greens, you had to do the greens first, I'm assuming. or I don't know how well, she Well, look, worked. she did the greens after. She did oh, the yellow yeah. first. Yeah, because those greens, because you see, it looks like it could easily taint the yellow. She even did the, well, after, <clears throat> what I noticed is, um, especially from a Daniel Rocha's seminar, is that after um, a certain time, your skin closes, so it doesn't really affect those colors. You know what I mean? After a certain amount of minutes? Like an hour, not oh. minutes. I remember one time I did color and uh, I didn't know that th they would blend. <laughs> and so I did yellows and then I put some blues or something and it started turning that green and I tried to wipe it and wipe it. I was always and I was stressing out. I never saw the healed picture, but they would they probably would have told me. But uh, yeah, it was turning like a greenish tone because the blue oh, and they yellow. just blocked you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's talk about the last one. Uh, definitely one of the heavy hitters that we know. Is killing it with some unique styles, right? Um, Val Tat Boo. It's a chick from, uh, where's she from, bro? She actually just moved to New York. Um, but she was from Russia. Russia. Look at this, guys. This is amazing. Look at that. And we're, this is a bunch of her work combined with the, the bottom one. She combined it. They're bottom, like um, the black left. work. Bottom left one. The bottom left one, yeah, with that uh, serpent looking thing. Yeah, she considers her work more of a black work uh, mixture with uh, realism. Bro, let's look at this one right here. Bottom, top left. Yeah. Damn. Dude, she got the gold. She got the reflection on the bottom of the chessboard. 
Sick. She actually won uh, Empire Empire uh, Convention. She won a convention? Yeah. It's dope. Look Best of show. I actually, think for that middle one. one. No, this no one. the bottom one. Bottom middle. Oh, this one here? Yeah. Yeah. And she did what, in three days? Mm-hmm. Damn. You know how hard it must have been to saturate that fucking black? Pretty hard. That's why she's a beast. How does she even think of this stuff? Like, this is one is more impressive for me because how do you get that, the top that right. glow? You know, that glow that is there's like a fire going on. Yet, that's just that's just hard. And then the horns. So with her, I actually started following her, um, following her because of painting. She's a painter too. Um, and then after. She won Empire or New York convention. I started seeing her tattoos more, and she she's really killing it. Oh, so you didn't know of her before this? No. Yeah, I had followed her before because she was doing these, you know, those sexual ones? Yeah, I knew of her because of her paintings. I didn't know her oh. for tattooing. Yeah, she has this one where, like, there's these bunch of chicks. So she's into that rope climbing and hanging. Seductive BSM or stuff. SM? Or? I don't know. I don't. What is it, Carlos? Where you, where you like getting tied up? The rope climbing stuff. And then she drew one. <laughs> SM, something like and that. She actually did one uh, of a girl being tied up like that, and it was pretty dope. Well, yeah, she oh. actually she does that um, and takes pictures. But look, you can see her paintings right there, her artwork. Amazing. Well, yeah, she does paint. I think if you go up more, you see a better one. That's how you right there. That is that Tyson or Ali? That guy? No, I don't think it's either of them. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Look like a boxer. <laughs> so hopefully we gave you guys a little bit of um how we see the tattoos, guys. We you know, we criticized some, we appreciated some. Um it's all subjective. You know, they could be looking at our work and just think it's not good. We can care less. <laughs> um, My mama says it's good. But uh, <laughs> that's how it is, you know. But if you guys got any questions on some tattoos <laughs> that you guys maybe have a question about, or if, they, you know, if they're Photoshopped or not, let us know. Send us a, a message. We can help you out. We can try to guess it. You know, I'm not sure we're there. But there's a lot of tricks to showing a lot of cool tattoos. Just make them show a little um, darker. Uh and the, the highlights are a little bit uh, brighter, I guess you could say. So that's the name of the game. The name of the game is to get your attention, guys. So everybody's doing it, you know. A um, few artists just post their natural pictures. Um, Me. A few artists post their natural <laughs> pictures. And they, don't. they don't use CPL filters or, or high contrast. Uh, so it is what it is. Everybody posts it the right way. At their own way, I'm saying. So, for that, I think we can end this podcast. You want to end it today? Romeo? Yeah, Romeo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks for viewing. Leave a like, comment, share, and see you guys on the next one. We out.